The trifecta of rising electricity prices, soaring temperatures and concerns over possible blackouts risks increasing heat-related deaths and illness this summer, as households struggle to afford to run cooling appliances. Over the past year, our heat waves, Homes and Health Research Project has investigated the impact of electricity policy on heat-vulnerable and financially constrained households in Melbourne, Dubbo and Cairns. Many of these households live in poor quality homes that typically heat up quickly and cool down slowly. Read more, are heat waves worsening and have hot days doubled in Australia in the last 50 years? Our findings reveal that schemes to reduce energy demand, like raising electricity prices during heat waves and encouraging electricity conservation to avoid blackouts, could increase health and well-being risks, unless they take into account housing, health and socio-economic disadvantages. The inequitable rise of air conditioning. About four out of five Australian households now have air conditioners. This is a rapid shift from 30 years ago, when most households used fans, cool water, and slowing down their activities on hot days. Many still use these strategies, but not necessarily by choice. Our study investigated what households most at risk, those with older residents, infants and chronic health conditions, do to try to keep cool during heat waves. Seventy professionals from health and social service organizations reported their experience with vulnerable households through interviews and a survey and 36 at-risk households were interviewed in their homes. Half of the households were renters, public and private, and 70% were on low incomes. For low-income households, whether homeowners or renters, home improvements like effective insulation and shading were usually out of their reach. Some wanted air conditioning installed to avoid debilitating discomfort or even hospitalization, but either could not get their landlord's agreement, or couldn't afford the cost. However, having access to air conditioning was not a straightforward solution. Older households often downplayed the potential risks of heat to their health, severely restricting or avoiding use of their air conditioning out of fear of an unaffordable electricity bill. Read more, How to Keep Your House Cool in a Heat Wave. In contrast, parents of infants tended to use their air conditioning even when the electricity bills caused financial hardship. For some households, using air conditioning meant spending less on other aspects of household well-being, such as healthy food, health care, children's school needs or social activities. Some relied on community organizations to help when electricity bills were due. Professionals who work with vulnerable households worried that electricity costs were affecting their clients' health. The vast majority, 88% of those surveyed, reported that they knew of households with very young, old or ill members who did not use air conditioning during heat waves, most commonly because of electricity cost. One third knew of clients who avoided using fans to reduce electricity bills.